So today marks 16 months that I've been doing the carnivore diet. In the first six and a half months, I dropped over 100 pounds. So what I'm going to show you today is what I used to eat when I was dropping a whole bunch of weight versus what I eat now. See, it was December 2nd, 2022 when I jumped on the scale and it said 286.6 and I said there's no way that is that that can stay the same and there's no way that I'm getting any closer to 300 pounds. And months before, I remember watching stuff on the carnivore diet with Joe Rogan, Jordan Peterson, and a couple other people going, man, that's a little bit too crazy. But when you're 286.6 uh, and you're getting close to that three number, uh, you do something a little extreme, you do something a little crazy in my mind. Now, not so crazy. So what I did is I only started eating meat. In the beginning, it was hell because I was going through withdrawals. I was having a hard time. Um, for the first two weeks, it was, it was, it was really, it was pretty bad. Um, I didn't follow any instructions. I just said, you know what, I'm throwing out everything in my fridge, everything in my pantry, and I'm gonna eat just meat. Didn't realize that you had to, you know, you know, really salt the steaks and really look for fat because I was going for leaner cuts of meat and that was a big mistake. But, but after a little bit of trial and error and a little bit more research, and here's kind of how I found my group. This is what I ate right here every day. This is uh, eight tenths of a pound of chuck steak. It has enough fat on it. It tastes like ribeye. It's cheaper. And, uh, you know, throw it in the air fryer, 13 min or 14 minutes at 370, comes out perfect. Put it on a cast iron skillet, you know, do cook it that way, throw it on the grill, whatever you want to do. But this right here, this is what I ate every day. And that's what I'm gonna eat for, I just got down with the workout right now. This is what I'm gonna eat for lunch today. And in this chuck steak, there's probably 750 to 850 calories in it. And that's all I'd eat in the day because even when you're doing the carnivore diet, you know, there's a formula. You know, it, you become fat adapted and you start to burn. Um, you know, you start to burn the fat on your body and it, it helps you drop weight very quickly. But still the formula is calories in versus calories out. That's all I'd eat in a day. It's enough to sustain me. And my body's going, oh man, I'm still hungry. So it's going to eat all the fat on me. I dropped 50, 60 pounds in two, two and a half months without lifting a weight, without running on the treadmill, without doing anything besides just my regular daily activity. Now, just eating one chuck steak a day, was that hard? Yeah, mentally it was pretty it was pretty tough. And yeah, there was days I was still hungry, but I knew that my body had enough food on it that, you know, I'm not gonna starve myself. So it was just enough to maintain. It was something easy that I could cook real quickly and uh, I, it's something I could stick to. But now that I'm down over 100 pounds, that's not all I eat in a day. Um, I can't because I don't have as much, you know, to lose anymore. I need to be able to refuel. I'm trying to actually put on maybe 15 pounds of muscle if I can, and then just sit there for as long as I can. So that's what I used to eat when I was really dropping, really dropping, really dropping. But now I'm gonna go take care of the cows, take care of the farm. Um, by the way, if you wanna see me go do all that stuff, I have another farming channel you guys should go subscribe to, uh, and it shows how I run this place, how, uh, you know, I think we actually had a baby calf last night uh, from what I saw driving out. So I'm gonna go take care of that and go see if that calf was born, I think it was. And then I'm gonna come back in and film the rest of what really I eat in a day. And you guys can see how I'm kind of maintaining now. Now for meal number two, it's uh, what time is it? It is a little past two o'clock, uh, already burned. Can you see that? Here, come on. Why isn't it working? Here we go. Already burned 936 calories. Cool. Here's what I'm eating. We just got some good old hamburgers and then some Swiss cheese. So literally I do this really, 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 really easy. I mean, I just cut this up like this, just a fork, a quarter, a quarter of the hamburgers off, put a thing of cheese on there, we're good to go. And that's, that's it, we're good. So I'm basically getting in about just under two pounds of meat per day. And this isn't that many calories, I think, because a pound of hamburger meat, I try and find the, the fattier ones, like 75, 25, because the fat really fills you up and it gets rid of that, you know, it helps you get rid of any kind of hunger craving. And then the cheese, this whole thing right here, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of like 1600 calories. So between the two meals, that's 2300 calories. And that's a pretty good amount. Could I go more? Yeah, because I've already burned 937 today of just moving around, not including my uh, um, BMR, which is, you know, I don't know what it is right now. It's like 19, 21 something, somewhere in there. But this, for the most part, is what I eat, like, every single day. 
I don't get bored of it because you know you have to you have to take the joy out of food and just see it as you know this is just me getting gas this is me pumping gas at the gas station I mean this still tastes good I don't I, I enjoy it but it's not like oh you know I'm looking forward to burgers today or, or steak today or whatever I just eat and odds are I'm not gonna be hungry later on but if I am I might have a couple more slices of cheese or you know I want a burger or something like that, but that rarely, rarely ever happens. Like, this fills me up. Those two meals, I'm good. I might, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll have a piece of fruit, um, a banana. Might Sometimes I put a, a avocado, I'll cut up an avocado and, you know, add this to my little um, burger shish kebab. And you know what? It works. You know, I'm a terrible cook, and this keeps things really, really simple. It's really fairly inexpensive, so it's not like, Oh, you know, I'm spending fifty dollars a day on on steaks. I don't even know how much this all costs. Maybe ten bucks, something in that range. And you're eating healthy. You're eating good. And for those of you wondering, what is it that I eat in a day? Yeah, that's it. Chuck steak, four burg four cheeseburgers, and I'm uh, I'm good. I'm satisfied. I'm happy, and I can get along. I can get on with my day because there's other things to do. I think one of my next videos is I'm going to track what I eat for a week and show you guys what all goes in, into me and even the even the bad stuff because I have a cheat day once a week that I go pretty hard on. But that's what I eat and this is what I drink. I'm on number, this is already gallon and a half in for the day. And I'm going to plug another one of my videos right now about what you should be drinking when, you know, on the carnivore diet or really in general um, because it's really important. You can have a really big impact on your results. So click on that but done here I think uh, that's gonna be one of my next videos it's gonna take me obviously a week to film um, but I'm gonna show you everything that that I eat everything that goes in my body and you guys can see uh, see the results little baby little baby cow little baby girl huh good girl good girl you happy let's go get you to mama what is what is fat if you heat it up? It turns into oil. This right here is some sesame oil. It's thicker oil so you guys can see it, okay? When we pour just a little bit of sesame oil into each of these glasses, watch what happens when you drink regular water because what happens when you mix water and oil, right? Water and oil don't mix. Basic chemistry, we've known that for years. That's, you know, you, you go tell your high school chemistry teacher water and oil don't mix and they'll go, yeah, no kidding, right? So water, do this so you guys can see and comes out of a, it's clear. Water and oil don't, look at that, 